Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 8th of 2023. Well, it is titled where your elements come from. So what do we see here? Well, here is the periodic table of the elements showing elements one through 94. And they are color coded from where those elements are formed. So you can take a look and see some elements have multiple colors on them and are formed in two or even three different ways. And there's only a couple of those that actually have three ways, uh, specifically helium and lithium. Now hydrogen and helium were primarily formed in the Big Bang at the origin of the universe along with a small amount of lithium. And that is where those were fully formed. So all of the hydrogen in the water in our bodies was formed during the Big Bang. And then we see some things are formed through cosmic rays, some of the other low element, low mass elements, like some of the lithium and all of the beryllium and boron are formed through cosmic ray fission. So those are elements that are difficult to form. And in fact, within stellar evolution within the inside of stars, those elements are kind of jumped over as we jump into carbon. And those ones are skipped and then what we have of them relatively rare elements are formed by cosmic rays. Now as we look in the next section of the periodic table we see a lot of yellow. The yellow is from exploding massive stars. So that includes all of the oxygen that we breathe and other elements like neon. Uh, and sodium so sodium in table salt would be primarily formed in this way in a massive star that explodes as a supernova. Now you see that some of those are not just massive stars but are, ex but are done in another type of supernova explosion which is an exploding white dwarf. So essentially all of those elements are formed all of those ones that are yellow and gray are formed through supernova explosions. Now when we get to the higher elements we kind of lose lose the uh, supernovae and they come down to forming through either low mass stars as they are dying and forming a planetary nebula and those can form some of the heavier elements and a lot of it is the purple in fact a lot of the elements we see uh, including things like gold and silver are formed primarily through merging neutron stars as they merge together. So we see a large number of the elements there are formed through that method. Now that does not mean that we know all of these perfectly and this periodic table is based on our best current estimates as to where these elements come from. But it is noted that some such as copper are actually not really well known and there may be some changes to this as more models and research give us better ideas of where each of these elements come from. But it's a great starting point and does allow us to see where a lot of the material that make up makes up our bodies and our earth and our solar system actually come from. So that was our picture of the day for January 8th of 2023. It was titled where your elements came from. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be tales of a new comet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.